What's up guys, today we are in the No Man's Wharf and we are going to take on the boss called the Flexile Sentry. He's an interesting looking boss, he's uh, got a Siamese twin, conjoined twin thing going on. So I've uh, switched back to my, my first character I started, I didn't like how the other one was turning out. So since you last saw me, I picked up the Drang Leak set that you can pick up after beating the Pursuer. And I am using the Pursuer body armor, the chest piece, and I'm using the, pur not the Pursuer, the, uh, the Drang Leak shield. So that's a, that's a great shield. It's a little bit on the heavy side, weighing six weight units, but it has 100% damage reduction, so if you're good with your stamina management, you shouldn't be taking too much damage at all. My longsword at this point, I believe, is plus four, plus five, and uh, I upgraded the armor a little bit, so I'm in much better shape to try to take out this boss. I should be able to do it myself now. And you want to take out this boss pretty quickly. The room will actually fill up with water slowly, so eventually you will, uh, the water's going to be up to your knees or whatever, and then it starts to get hard to move around. You're not going to be able to dodge very well, and you will end up dead. So let's, uh, let's take him out quickly. The boss does a lot of, uh, two or three hit combos. So you kind of want to stand back, watch his movement patterns, and then you want to move in, get one or two hits, back off, let your stamina recharge, and then just follow that pattern. He's really not too difficult. He telegraphs his attacks a lot. You do have to be wary of getting too close to him because he'll stab you and pick you up and do this weird helicopter move where he looks like he's trying to take off. Other than that, though, he's he's really not too hard of a boss. You should be able to do to uh, do this yourself. But if you there's no shame in co-oping it. Co-op is just a lot of fun to do too. See, look, he stabbed me and helicopter. But other than that, he's a uh, this is really not that difficult of a boss if you've geared up properly for it. And that'll do it. He's got nothing. The whole No Man's Wharf area, though, is very tricky. There's a ton of enemies that will throw oil pots at you and then other enemies nearby to shoot flaming arrows at you. And if you if both connect, you're going to blow up. And that'll take out a lot of your health. So you really want to be careful of that. So after you've beaten the boss, you want to head up through the uh, through the new door that you unlocked, and you want to examine that, whatever that thing is in the corner. And now you're going to ride the ship to, I guess, a little harbor right outside of the Las Bastille, which is the next area of the game you're going to. So you want to head down this dock now. And you want to put yourself in this jail cage right here. It's not actually jail, it's a platform that's going to take you up. Okay, so we're going to be coming up on the first bonfire. It's in one of the jail cells. Alright guys, make sure you tune in for the next boss battle. It's This next one is definitely a doozy, so make sure you watch how I conquer that one. 